my question is what is your opinion when a leader does not express his support for matters organized by Islamic association such as intellectual programs and religious program instead only silence when the program is being pressured by someone who has the will to stop the program. That if an Islamic organization wants to do an Islamic program, the leader is silent because some non-Muslims are the some non muslims objecting. So what should be done if they're objecting? Point number one, I know you're relating to me, I'm aware of it, that many people objected to this program. Point number one, the leader should check whether the objection is correct or no. If the Islamic organization is calling a speaker which is abusing other religions and which is criticizing other religion and causing communal disharmony, that program should not be held. But when someone lays the allegation, Quran says, Kul hatu burhanakum, produce your proof, in kuntum sadiqin, but if you're truthful. Correct? I know that many, many a time when I go in this country, the Indian non-Muslims, they object hundred times more than the Indian non-Muslim in my country. I don't know why. When anyone objects, what should the leader do? The leader should not be scared that he lose the election. The leader should be for justice. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 135, Ya amanu, O you believe, stand out for justice and witness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if it be against yourself, even if it be against your parents, against your relatives, rich or whether they're rich or poor. He should say justice. So if someone is laying an allegation and saying, okay, Dr. Zakir Naik is causing communal disharmony. Okay, get me proof. Show me one lecture. Show me one lecture of Dr. Zakir Naik where he's causing communal disharmony. Simple. You know, I've given more than 2,000 lectures. It was said by the coordinator. If you have at least seen 1% of my, 1% of my lecture will be 20 lectures, correct? Forget 1%, 0.2%. At least four lectures. So anyone who's laying an objection, first question you ask him, how many lectures have you heard of Dr. Zakir Naik completely? First question. If they show you a clip out of context, out of context, you know Quran, Quran says do not pray. Quran says do not pray. Do you agree with me or not? No. What? No, I'm right. Who says no? Raise your hand. Quran says, don't pray. I'm right. MashaAllah. So what do you do? Not pray. Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 43, do not pray when you are intoxicated. So when you read the context, it is saying, do not pray when you are having alcohol intoxicated. But if I quote half, it will give a wrong message. So anyone who says, Dr. Zakir Naik is speaking against other religion, you said, give the proof. Get me one, one lecture, full lecture out of the 2,000 I've given. Full lecture, not clipping of two minutes out of context. Only one, not even two. Zakir Naik promotes terrorism. Get one lecture, one lecture only, full lecture, read. We'll hear the full lecture where he promotes terrorism. Cannot. The world was calling me on counter-terrorism. The head of the counter-terrorism department in UK in 2009 approached me saying you can reach those Muslims who we cannot reach. Can you help us? I said under two conditions. As long as you do not ask me to do anything Quran and Sunnah, against the Quran and Sunnah, and I don't want your money. They agreed. Next year, the government changed. Labour Party lost, Conservative came. Now they want to call me a terrorist. Ajib. Indian government calling me to give lecture in National Academy, the biggest training center in India for the police. I have given lecture there many times. New government is saying I'm a terrorist. Ajib. What's happened to the world? I ask anyone who speaks against me, at least get me one proof, not two, one proof. Not out of context. It is so easy. The media here speaks against me. I ask the journalist, how many lectures have you seen of mine? Not even a single. You don't see a single lecture of mine and telling Zakir is, is spreading hatred. Is it justified? 
the leader should not get scared. And if actually the Muslim die, he's spreading hatred, he should not be called. But don't go out of context. You know, the Malaysian paper say Dr. Zakir Naik is banned in many countries. Do you know I'm not banned in a single country? Only once I was banned in UK from 2010, and the letter says for three years. Officially, I was banned only in one country for three years, from 2010 June till May 2013. That's it. There is not a single country in the world that I know of which has banned me. But yet the press says, yes, that's a different question, that half the country won't give me visa. If a country doesn't give me visa, doesn't mean I'm banned in the country. Indian press says, I'm banned in Malaysia. <laughs> Ajib. This is the job of the press to lay allegation. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ujura, chapter 49, verse number 6, whenever you get information, check it up before you pass it on to the third person. Verify it. You don't have to believe it. Unfortunately, what nonsense the media writes? Get proof. That's the reason when Indian government, you know, there is not a single court in the world, anywhere in the world, including India, which has passed a verdict against me. I want to repeat, there is not a single court anywhere in the world, not even anywhere in India, which has passed a verdict against me. Yes, complaints, thousands. There are thousands of complaints against me, FIR filed against me, not a single verdict against me. Even the case which the government has filed against me for money laundering, last year in January 2018, it was a Sikh judge. Justice Manmohan, I don't know him. I have not met him. First time I heard about him. Fortunately, he had seen my videos. He's telling the investigation lawyer, have you seen the lectures of Dr. Zakir Naik? He said, no. He said, I have seen. Get me one lecture where he speaks for terrorism. I will ban him. I will, I will see to all his properties are confiscated. They could not. Again, last month in March, Again, they want, to cause me, they want to configure my property, money laundering. The same judge says, get me one proof, not two. So the verdicts have come for me, yet the press says, money laundering, money laundering. What they do, they pick up an article from India. If the article is negative, it will start by saying, a controversial speaker, Dr. Zakir Naik. When you read the first sentence, you understand it's a negative article. I was with one very famous Muslim news agency here, media, I won't take the name, and the owner was my fan. He took my interview. I said, bye, why do you copy verbatim? You're copying from other people without checking. Why do you copy? At least change the starting line. Who's not controversial? Every famous person in the world is controversial. There's not a single famous person in the world who has no controversy. Can you point out one? One famous person in the world who's not controversial. Can you point out? So if they want to write a favorable article, they will say world-renowned speaker. If they want to write against a controversial speaker. The problem is anyone lays the allegation, get proof. And that's the reason when the Indian government wanted to put me on the Interpol. If any government writes to the Interpol that he's a terrorist, 99.9% percent they will put him on the list. In my case, they did not. Why? Today, if you tell a Muslim is a terrorist to the Interpol, 99% they will put him on the list. In my case, the Interpol rejected. The Interpol rejected India. Why? Fabricated. Indian government has asked so many countries give up Zakir. Not a single Muslim country gave me up. Why? Why? Because they know it's a fabrication. I know there are some Muslim countries that will give up. All Muslim countries are not truthful. All Muslim countries don't believe in the verse of the Quran of Surah Nisa, chapter 135. We say the stand not for justice. I really appreciate Tun Mahathir. Tun Dr. Mahathir, he's one of the few politicians who will fight for the rights of the Muslim, even if it goes against himself. I appreciate him. As far as the Muslim rights are concerned, even though having a government, which many of the MPs are non-Muslim, he is very just. What we have to appreciate, he was the first person in the world who filed in the tribunal of Kuala Lumpur, war tribunal, and 
he did a case against George Bush and Tony Blair, first time, and said if these president of America and the past president of UK, if they have to step in Malaysia, we will arrest them. MashaAllah, who had the guts? So Dr. Mathe, that time he was in the Prime Minister also, Allah brought him back. I don't know about the other politics, but I know for sure that what is haq, what is truth, you have to fight. He's one of the few Muslim politicians who have the guts. All Muslim politicians don't have the guts. They will give the decision based on their benefit. Okay, if I, if I go against this Muslim, I'll get more votes, okay. Even the, even the Muslim is correct. No, put him into problems. What we have to realize, but the media, the biggest problem is the media with fake news. Fake news. I challenge any of the news, any of the news media in any country in the world, whether it be India, whether it be USA, whether UK, whether Malaysia, who writes article against me, how many lectures have they seen of mine? Even if they've seen any one lecture, can they point out that lecture and show it on the television? I will pay the money. That is against humanity. I challenge. They are doing a propaganda. So here, if someone is laying an allegation, the leader should ask for proof. Okay, Dr. Zakir Naik spoke again. Get the full lecture. We will see it in an auditorium. Show it. And anyone who has little knowledge of Islam, he will be able to prove that this lecture is not causing communal disharmony. Because Quran clearly states in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 108, that if that abuse not those people who they worship besides Allah, the God who they worship besides Allah, lest in the ignorance, they will abuse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hope that answers the question, brother. Thank you. Uh, can we allow a brother with the mic at...